don't you think that uh, there was more protectionist tendencies that are harming the single market? It's fairly normal in a recessionary period, historically throughout economic history, when things are bad in terms of high unemployment, you look for the measures you can find to create jobs, and the easiest one is restrict the jobs that go to the foreigners, as it were. So in a sense, protectionist tendencies tend to rise in a recessionary period. So it's not at all surprising. I wouldn't see it as being fairly dramatic, though. Uh, to be a fairly minor change in the broad free trade world, as it were. So you would, you would say it could have been worse? Um, well, it couldn't really be much worse unless there's a fundamental breach of EU law. So in a sense, there are limited things we can actually do. Now, maybe that's where the law is a virtue, that if the law and rules didn't exist, we would see a lot more protectionist devices. So basically, governments are very hindered by EU regulations and rules from doing what they probably would like to do at the moment, particularly at election periods. I think that's, that's where I think having an independent commission is important, mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that it isn't beholden to, big, to governments, or particularly of big countries, that it is able and willing to take them to court, and that we have a European <laughs> Court of Justice that is quite um, you know, willing to, to give fair decisions. But uh, we should not forget that the European Union itself is a very fragile entity. All you need for the European Union to literally dissolve would be for countries stop to stop abiding by European Court of Justice decisions. And then the Union is over. Mm -hmm.